Now listen here, lads. Last time I told you a bunch of tales, and it was all over the place. But this time I have a real adventure for you. An adventure so grand that it'll probably take me ages to recall it all in one go. So, grab a lot of grog, perch yourself down, and get comfortable. Because this is the beginning of the tallest of tales. This is the legend of Captain Di Jones. Would you believe it? Our voyage began at Daggertooth Outpost, and as usual, first mate Ethan was by my side. A mysterious stranger in the tavern had told us of an island by the name of the Shores of Gold, rumoured to be filled with riches beyond a pirate's dream. So naturally, we wanted to plunder this glorious place. However, it wouldn't be as easy as we thought, as according to the stranger, the island was hidden away in a deep cloud of mist, and the only way to safely navigate it was to obtain an artifact called the Shroudbreaker. We were given a book owned by the pirate lord who had managed to reach the shores of gold. Within it, cryptic notes told us that the logs we needed went down with the pirate lord's ship, aptly named the Magpie's Wing. So we set sail following the book's direction. Get up, get up in the, get up in the crow's nest. Get up in the crow's nest. I need support. Because I can't see shit. <laughs> I cannot see shit. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not much better up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, actually, come up here, come up here if you can quickly. Just, just, <laughs> you have to see how, uh, how clear it is up here. I'm coming. I, w I would tell you that, no, don't worry, but I honestly don't know if there's anything in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like... I can, I can see... Literally you. can't see anything. Arriving at an uncharted island, me and Ethan scoured its surrounding waters until we found the wreck of the magpie's wing, along with the lost pages of its log, revealing their conflict with something called the Burning Blade, and also the location of a chest which was dropped overboard. We found the chest after guessing it would be near an island by the name of Paradise Spring, and in the process of swimming the chest back to the ship, Ethan decided he wanted to try his hand with the new harpoons yeah, we'd had put on the ship. What the, the, the way it took me about. Oh my god, I hate this so much. <laughs> Aim back, yeah. Oh my god, fam. <laughs> With a cannon I am. Let me get a cannonball, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Move over a little bit, you're just outside the... Uh... Oh, there's a shark! Oh my god! There, goes, there. there we go. <laughs> the timing! The timing! Opening the chest gave us more pages, and a totem resembling a crab. The new pages held clues of our next destination, and it turned out to be the Uncharted Islands once again that held the secrets we dared to seek. Fuck, I fell off. Yeah, where are we going? The yeah, clues yeah. led us to an underwater tunnel. As ominous as it was, we swam through with Crab Totem in Ethan's hand, not mine. Pretty sure this is it, man. Yeah, you got it, you got it, right. Oh shit. Like a... Oh mate, got it, I got it. That's it, that's it. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, get your gun. Oh shit, okay. By Davy Jones himself, I'd never seen a room so ancient before. Now I'm used to the odd riddle or two, but Ethan needed okay. some help. So I told him what's what, in hopes that he wouldn't fuck it all up. Fuck, how do I turn pages? Okay, you ready? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! There's water coming in. 
Let me just click it. No, 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 don't click the button. No, 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 no. With a little hiccup at the start, Ethan and myself managed to do well, and avoid drowning. But the puzzle wasn't over yet. Uh, she's still there. The sloop is incoming. Instead, we had to deal with some lousy pirates trying to get the drop on us. Don't think so. Medallion. Yes, that's what we need. The sloop is incoming right now. Oh, somebody jumped in. Yeah, he's by the side of our ship. Hey, you, you friendly dude, or are you just gonna swim, stay on the ladder? Okay. Careful, Ethan. Shit, he's got a sword out. He's trying to kill me. The bastards flee the scene. <laughs> so me and Ethan quickly found the crab medallion shown in the shrine, and finally unlocked a hidden door with a pedestal beholding the fabled Shroud Breaker. With Shroud Breaker in hand, we set sail for Dagatooth once more to speak to our mysterious friend. We look so much more fly. Oh man, I'm looking fly as hell, looking fresh. I feel like I'm the fresh prince. You're a new man. I'm a new man. I look at poor people differently. <laughs> You're no longer poor. I'm a rich man now. I'm dripping in gold. To be honest, the way that I look and the way you look is really good because you look like a captain. That's because I am the captain. And I look like, <laughs> like they're just an assassin. They're like Han Solo. First met Ethan. After a bit of chin wagging, we finally made it to Dagatu's outpost. Where are you going, man? Where the fuck are you going, man? The fuck's the entrance? <laughs> oh, I passed it. Oh shit! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, man. No, I know. You ready? Great Ramsey's ghost. I heard all the stories, but to actually hold the Shroud Breaker in my hands, I never thought I'd see the day. Something's wrong. There should be four jewels set in the base that grant the Shroud Breaker its power, but they've been removed. Without them, you won't last five minutes in that fog. Oh, fucking Let everyone. me think. I did hear tell that Captain Briggsy made it to the shores of gold. Why? Right. If that's true, she might know the whereabouts of these missing stones. Not that she'd ever say. Well, why is that then? Sometimes. Even the best pirates fall victim to their greed or hatred, and it changes them, strips the flesh from their bones, gives them power, but okay. twists them up inside. Mm. Briggsy is one such abomination. Yeah, I think I met them. People call them skeleton lords, oh, I met them. and most pirates flee at their approach. Not even the Order of Souls dares challenge them, and rightly so, but you... I'll have a go. You are going to have to hunt one down. Oh shit, like yeah. I have eyes and ears across the Sea of Thieves. If you gather any of the missing pieces, I'll see they're restored to the Shroud Breaker on your behalf. Oh, thanks, bud. For now, head to Plunder Outpost and speak with Madame Olivia about Briggsy's whereabouts. Oh, will do. Remember, skeleton lords are not to be taken lightly. It seemed we would have quite a ways to go before we reached the shores of gold, so we decided to have a break, which, as usual, meant lots of grog. Drunken music. Oh shit. 
me. This is the best I've ever played. Why am I a pirate when I can be not even playing instruments? And drunken talk. I am the watcher. I watch present and future pirates pass. And what is it that you seek, oh great watcher? Old, cause I'm broke. You know all these fancy clothes I got, man? I took them from dead pirates that were more worthy than me, man. <laughs> and thus ends the sad tale of the Watcher. Doesn't it actually looks pretty good? Yeah, you know what? I think I think I'll have that, but got a beard, you know, proper beard going now and everything, so I uh, gotta have a gotta have a vigorous looking fucking hat now, don't I? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Like, innit? Di Jones is fucking, you know, grown up, innit? He's fucking old, like, innit? Fucking you know, old, mate. He's been around you know, the block a few times. Been around the Sea of Thieves, but. <laughs> around the Sea of Thieves a few times, eh? As we were shopping, you know, and enjoying ourselves, Stay some shopping. random pirates decided to attack us. So we showed them what's what. Well then, uh, that's the first part of the grand adventure that is the Shores of Gold. Don't be fooled though, for this was an easy task. The real challenge begins with the Cursed Road. We want on a quest, mate. Where's my crew? God damn it. Oh, oh shit, they're fucking falling. Oh! Put in me fucking arm. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. 